Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. That was actually pretty good. If y'all new here, this is Novice Garage. We make car video stuff. Fun stuff. Yeah, what he said. Today is a little bit different. We're actually, we should like, is this like a story time technically? I think it's technically a story time. Novice Garage story time. Mm -hmm. Before we jump into today's video, we just released some shirts. We have several designs up. So uh, click the link in the description below. Every sale, every purchase, y'all make goes directly back into making more videos. If you wanna show some support, it's the easiest way to do it. So we don't have the shirts yet. We got a lot of hope riding on Teespring. Teespring, don't f this up for us. Yeah. Um, don't. So what are we talking about today, Zach? On today's agenda, we are gonna actually be talking about pretty much in the past. Uh, basically once, you know, after the whole car wreck that we had, which really, really sucked. Yes, it did. Um, we weren't really able to actually talk about it all too much because of the legal issues. So I'm really gonna say what's going on or kind of keep you guys really updated about it because this is all legal shit. Grown ass man lawyer stuff. Yeah, that, that. Anyways, we actually got asked to be on live television. And I don't know if you guys are aware or have seen this TV show. It's called Judge Duty. Guys, this is not clickbait. This is real ass shit. Yeah, it's, it's really not clickbait. But we were asked to be on Judge Judy, and I actually, he didn't really never seen it a whole too much. I personally watched it all the damn time. I think everyone's grandma, like, thoroughly knows, oh my god, Judge Judy, like. So, I actually watched it a lot, and I actually really liked that show. She, it's a really, she's really cool. Yeah, it's a really great show. It's where people are suing each other, and they go out to Los Angeles, and actually have the case there. Mm -hmm. Well, we got asked to go on the show, and everything would have been paid, uh, the flight would have been paid for, mm -hmm. the hotel room would have been paid for, uh, current, everything you can think of would have been paid for. We would have gone to Los Angeles for free. Well, this relied on two things. Number one, the other party agreeing to it, which they knew they were in the wrong. So that was kind of like up in the air. And uh, Zach pointed out a really good thing. Do you remember what you said? Yeah. Because it was hilarious. <laughs> so the kid he's suing, Either way, he's getting sued. A TV show offered him to, you know, the same thing that they offered us, free trip and everything, all mm -hmm. paid for, mm -hmm. and to get a little bit of money out of it as well. Mm -hmm. So either way, if he would have said yes to go on this Judge Judy deal, he would have got a free trip to go to Los Angeles for yeah. free, and got sued, and still went to Los Angeles for free, mm -hmm. or he could just stay in Texas and not get a free Los Angeles trip and still get sued. So either way, he's getting sued no matter yeah. which, which one he says yes. Either A, he can get sued on live television, or B, he can just get sued in Dallas, Texas. But there's more to it, because if he's being sued on live, on, on live television in style, it's fully paid for. We, we'd be like hardcore like vloggers, like vlogging around, like doing stupid shit. <laughs> Yeah, what? I personally would have gone because I mean you're getting sued either way. I mean mm -hmm. you're getting a free trip to LA. And we're not getting sued. Dude. We're, we're I mean, the, yeah, he, we're he's the sue yeah, he, yeah, yeah, we're the sueers mm -hmm. and he's the sue -ee. So yeah. we're suing the sue and he would have got a free trip out of it. So exactly. I would have gone. But I, I don't know why you wouldn't want to get sued on. Tell exactly how the whole communication of this went down. I'm at work one day. I get a phone call from a Los Angeles number. I answer it and the lady's like, is this Gabriel Edwards? Now, whenever I get a phone call and the first thing they say, is this Gabriel Edwards? But whenever they know your name at the first and they say your full legal name, it's, I, I just say, no, you're not going to have a good time. I just say, no, I'll listen, yo, bye-bye. Yeah, well, I didn't do that. So anyways, <laughs> she does her whole sales pitch saying that she's uh, the producer of Judge Judy and I, Immediately I started thinking it might be a scam because um, she wanted some information about the case, et cetera, et cetera. And then she started dropping facts. Like she knew what her name was, what the defendant's name was, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I was like, well, this is, probably, this is probably the real deal. So I was explaining, I got really excited once I found out that, yo, this is for real, Judge Judy, the producer, which, you know, probably makes six figures off this shit, is straight up contacting me right now. Like, we, this could be our ticket to go have fun in LA and make awesome videos for you guys uh, for a couple days. And I told her the entire thing what happened, and we made a whole video series, so I'll link that below if you guys wanna go check out exactly what happened. But long story short, the driver that hit us, he was at fault, and his insurance ended up denying the claim. And I mentioned that to the producer. And that right there, she like kind of instantly lost interest in pursuing our case on 
live television because she basically explained that if the insurance company already denied the claim, there's not much they can do. So I tried to revive the situation. I was like, oh no, 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 there's still a chance, blah, blah, blah. And she seemed like she was still interested. And then we got off the phone. She basically ended it with saying, we will send a letter out to the defendant. And that was it. So that was back in, I want to say February of this year. It is now June. I, I just looked at my, I don't, I don't have a watch on. June, yeah, yeah. It's now June and we haven't heard anything. So probably not gonna happen, but we've been wanting to tell a story for a very long time because that would have been some funny shit. I, I can just see Zach there like talking back to Judge Judy. Like, you know, Alabama country boy. Like, <laughs> No, shut my ass. That's the funny part. Like, no, that the, little that little like, woman will get on your ass and be like, ah, she'll throw a <laughs> hammer at you. Be like, grab the hammer, the little hammer that they go, they finally they close the case. Mm -hmm. He was raised to respect elders. Anyways, that's the story. We filmed this vlog originally like a couple days ago uh, in front of another vlog, which was actually car related. So we're gonna stitch this footage together with the other footage because the first time we did this, uh, your boy Gabe messed up the audio really bad, really bad. Because this G7X camera doesn't have mic input, so. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and roll into the next final vlog footage of this video to try to, call, you know, since this is Novice Garage, we do car stuff, we gotta tie in some car vlogging. Did you bring your computer? No, I didn't, I actually forgot. The one time I thought I you were going, I thought you wanted to go tune it. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot to bring it. I didn't want to go tune it, I wanted to check the temperatures on the ECU. Anyway, so what we did. It's nice and cool out. Wow. <laughs> I am it's sweating cool. like a damn dog I right I'm, now. I, I just like, stopped sweating, but it's nice and cool out. Wow. It's not 100 degrees outside. You're off tomorrow, we'll take care of that tomorrow. You're I'm off working tomorrow. on the Jeep tomorrow. Not all day, nope. Okay, all right, sure. the, it, it'll be easy fix. So anyways, oh shut the f <laughs> In this next footage, what we're doing, we picked up some big ass things for the Jeep. Some big yeah. ass things? They're big ass things. Yes, that we cannot lift. Way. This is what happens when you don't script stuff. We didn't never f script shit. I we just winged the f out of it. Oh, yeah, stop it, cussing. Y'all haven't noticed, right. we don't script any of this, so you know, it's. Makes more work on the. You gotta learn how to edit. Cause like, you know, I, I sit there all day. And you know that the, the damn goat noise, like I have to use that so much. Like, <laughs> I well, so. mean, you got, you, you started cussing a crap ton more, and then mm. I started cussing a crap ton more. It just mm. goes back and forth, yeah. then we just start cussing yeah. and cussing and cussing and cussing and cussing. The cursing feeds off and, of each other. Yeah. Anyways, this clip's already getting way too long. Let's play that vlog footage. Okay, so we just got to the house of the guy that I'm picking up my axles from, and literally the freaking axles were ba are buried underneath a whole bunch of branches and stuff like that and there's like two sets of axles that are in the way these things are freaking huge these things are absolutely huge so give me two seconds I gotta back this trailer in So we got it right next to the trailer. These are incredibly heavy. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's barely too wide to fit on the trailer. So I think we're gonna have to do is either kind of twist it like that or just put it on completely sideways. So I don't know, we're about to figure it out. So Zach's idea, Zach's idea here, we're gonna move it over a little bit, tip it up so it stands straight up, and then we're, the plan is, the plan is to go ahead and knock it over so it falls. Uh, let's, let's see if this works. I'm not gonna put the camera on the trailer because that's gonna fall. So, we're gonna put the camera right up here. I need a tripod, but it'll work. Careful when it comes down.
Well, that's a sight you don't see every day. Yeah, so he's just chilling there. All right, so I'm also very happy. I paid $200 all together for a Dana 44 front end and Dana 44 rear end. Um, supposedly they are matching gears ratio. They, the gears in them match together, so that's gonna be a plus. I really don't know that until we actually take it apart and look into the gears and see what are in there. This one, the front axle, was a real pain in the ass like Gabe was saying. This actually came off of like a 78 or 79 Bronco that has locking hubs in the front. So that's gonna be a big plus. I can lock the front up and it's gonna be freaking amazing and unlock it. And now the rear, I think we're gonna have to rebuild it because both the tires weren't wanting to spin freely like or independently. I asked the dude if, if they were, if the differentials was welded in the rear and he said he doesn't know. And like literally, you can't move one tire without both of them moving at the same time. So I think we're probably gonna rebuild the back which isn't gonna be an issue. But yeah, for 200 bucks, I got me all new front end, which is, I'm really, really happy about it. With this with this new type of axle setup, I'm actually gonna be st sticking out about five to maybe six inches wider of a wheelbase. So it's gonna be freaking fantastic. I'm gonna have a wider wheelbase and this is gonna be great. Now it's time to just freaking drive another hour back home so now like 60 plus miles back home yep all right guys so we won't be using these for a little while the main reason we have this in the video is because we got to put a little bit of car content right like yeah. in this vlog so um hope you all enjoy so drop a like if you're new here drop a subscribe we'll see y'all tomorrow have a great day have a great night i don't know when the hell i'm gonna post this but whichever it is have a great one of those yep peace out guys later